Hey guys, and oh my goodness, my voice. Hey, oh my goodness. Hey guys, it's Brenda from my baby Buns Kettle. Oh my goodness, you guys, I was sick all week. And yesterday, I finally started feeling better around like close to three o'clock. <laughs> Today I did um, go to work and we had every child matters day. I am wearing my shirt. I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay. I normally don't like. Okay. Wait. Today we had truth and reconciliation day at the school and um, we had our ceremony in the afternoon. And then after the ceremony, we were allowed to come home. So it's Every Child Matters Day here in Canada. And, um, but today I'm here finally to, and I have my cue cards. I am going to do Rebecca's tag. And her channel is Rebecca's Cloud Kids Reborn Nursery. I hope I got that right. But Rebecca... Rebecca does a lot of fun videos and oh I wait uh, I'm still coughing a lot so I'll try and do this really quick but I really enjoy Rebecca's videos and I told her I'm going to do this tag and she's like yay because she enjoys my channel but I like your channel too Rebecca anyways please excuse my voice I'm still sick I'm still struggling with cold the last video I did over last weekend I was just starting to get sick and I still am I had the flu I was really super sick for three days in a row um, I ended up going trying to go to work in the middle of that and it, Wait, I'll try and do this fast. I'm coughing a lot. I still have a lot of like, um, ever since I had bronchitis many, many years ago, I had a very severe case. I get sick really easy now. So <laughs> anyways, I, anyways, <laughs> I want to show you why Coleman is on the changing table. He is my twin A sculpt. He is my very first. Sorry, my voice. He is my very first custom reborn baby doll that I requested. And uh, <laughs> anyways, it's a twin A sculpt, and I received him back in two thousand fifteen. So I want to show you him. He is wearing a Timu. Uh, knitted of it and it looks so cute uh, okay and i'll try and do this fast i'll just show you why it and i'm gonna go through the questions and answer them as quickly as i can hopefully i don't ramble on and on <laughs> okay let's get into this uh so here is wyatt coleman he is my very first custom baby that i requested and he is from 2015, and I still love him so, so much. So you can look at Wyatt while I answer these questions. And there are eight quirky questions about me. So number one, uh, what era would you like to travel to, past or future, and why? <laughs> Well, for me, personally, I love many eras of our past, and I am very interested in eras of our future. But if I would choose one, I would choose the medieval times. Uh, movies, when I was a kid, I used to love, love, love movies like Red Sonja, uh, Conan, The Destroyer. I watched Conan the Barbarian, but the, the part two one, it's a lot better. Um, I loved the Beastmaster from the 80s with Mark Singer. Um, I grew up, there was a TV show called Hercules. I loved that show. And then Xena came out after that. And at first I thought, come on now, Xena is just trying to be a female Hercules. Like, <laughs> no one could be Hercules. But one day I decided to give her show a chance and I 
fell in love like right away. It's like perfect. And then I became a huge Xena fan. So yeah, if I could, I would go back in time to the medieval times. So, and sorry about my voice. If I have to clear my throat a lot, I apologize for that. Um, she said, number two, name three guilty pleasure songs. Now, with me personally, I love many genres and I love many songs. But my three pleasure songs right now that I currently love to listen to. And this type of music will not be for everyone. But lately, my number one song has been by a group called Skinned. S let's see s k y n d that's how you spell it and is a female artist and she actually writes about crime, true crime stories but about true crime is that they're horrific so her music is it tells the true stories of true crime like serial killers and um Stuff like that. But anyways, there's a certain song, the John Wayne Gacy song by Skinned is one of my favorite pieces right now. <laughs> I'm obsessed. It's kind of weird because many of you know that I'm a teacher and I'm very caring. I'm very loving and um, I'm respectful. <laughs> but there's a side of me that really enjoys uh, her type of music and her imagery. Her symbolism in her music is very dark. And um, it's hard to describe. But anyways, I really enjoy. That's my number one. John Wayne Gacy by Skinned. And only look that up if you're into true crime. <laughs> Please don't watch it if you're if you're not into uh well first of all you have to be into true crime, but you also have to be into horror. So if you're not into horror at all, uh Marilyn Manson type, don't watch it. Don't even look it up. <laughs> uh number two the song, I could be in any kind of mood. And this song pertains to me since childhood all the way up until now. And I'm 50. But as soon as the song comes on, no matter what mood I'm in, it could relax me. It makes me happy. It makes me nostalgic. And it, the song is by Donovan. And the song is called Hurdy Gurdy Man. And yeah, as soon as I hear that first, oh, I I just, I gotta listen to it. And I love it. I absolutely love it. And the third song, um, I was going to mention a band called The Prodigy. And they're uh, from the UK and they're from the 90s. There's a song by them that I used to really, really love. I still love it. It's called Omen. The Omen. <laughs> but anyways, uh, lately, but I do want to mention this song. Sorry, my voice. <clears throat> I do want to mention a song, a guilty pleasure song, that is by a band called Snow Ghosts, and it's called Wraith. And sorry about my nose, <laughs> my nasal sounds, oh my goodness. Um, they did a song called Wraith, and I first discovered the song on a TV show called, it's by Netflix, and it's called Rain, and it's a really extremely, I love that series so much, I've watched it four times, yes, that's how much I love it is an apocalyptic type or dystopian type show. I'm trying so hard not to snort at the <laughs> into the microphone, but um but anyways, there's a song called Wraith and I love it so much because um I'm dealing or not so much anymore, but at the time I was still dealing with a lot of childhood trauma incidences and um 
this song really helps heal because um, well, it's about race and it's about um, what somebody did to you and how you deal with it now. And I don't know. It's a really good song. If um, it's not music for everyone, again, I like very different music. Um, I love music that people don't really listen to. When I choose music, I like to choose different stuff. I don't like to follow po the popular songs or stuff like that. So anyways, if you want to listen to something really different, uh, Snow Ghosts is um, dark, but healing in a way is <laughs> so, it's so hard to to describe but anyways okay right and see i'm rambling i'm rambling even when i'm sick yes <laughs> okay number three what's the most spontaneous thing you've ever done and did it turn out good or did it turn out well sorry that was on the other page <laughs> i've done a few spontaneous things and you won't believe a couple of them Oh, <laughs> this is kid friendly, right? <laughs> okay, what's the most? Okay, recently the most spontaneous thing I've done was um, finally after earning my uh, normal wage of being back at work after COVID and getting into a better position of a job. My common law husband and I, Francis, decided to buy an just for now an inflatable boat <laughs> and we went boating because we discovered a new hobby called magnet fishing and magnet fishing is because we hate we don't eat fish and we don't like fishing but magnet fishing is when you throw a big magnet into the water and you might discover like who knows uh like just anything middle money <laughs> we didn't find any money we've only found like hooks and um a couple of screws old-fashioned screws interesting things but where i live up in the north there's not much people up here there's not many people up here so we decided to get a boat so we can magnet fish um further out other than just the shore and the dock so we decided last minute hey let's buy let's buy a boat so <laughs> we did and that's my story <laughs> and that's the pg version most spontaneous thing i've ever done okay <laughs> sorry about my nose number four if you could have uh a, any superpower for a day what would you choose and how would you use it? When I was a kid, I always dreamed of having a superpower. ESP could be a real power. I oh, Supernatural. I was into psychology and parapsychology for the longest time. And I'm totally interested in both. And even though they're different, they could be intertwined with each other. And um, actual human power is possible, but uh, but if I could have a super power, I would choose to fly. And what would I do? I would obviously fly to all my dolly friends and have a really fun visit. And <laughs> in fact, I do dream of flying too. So, but yeah, I would love to fly. Number five, describe your dream vacation in three words or less. Okay, here's my challenge. Three words or less. Okay. Camping. Lake. Francis. And that's all. <laughs> that's all I'm allowed to say. Okay, number six. Describe a hilarious childhood memory. Oh my goodness, I have lots of hilarious childhood memories. But let me think, try and think of one that was... Oh, I know one. <laughs> okay. 
My okay, I have one brother, no sisters. He's actually my half brother, but it, I never refer him to that because I grew up with him, and I'm older than him. So he's my brother, my brother, my mom, my dad. And again, she's really my stepmom, but I never ever refer to her as that because she was in the picture since I was a toddler. So she's my mom. So my mom, my dad, myself, and my brother, we went on a vacation. And my brother and I used to always fight in the back seat. Now, this is the time before seatbelts and... um. Yeah, so let's just say it's in the 80s, okay? <laughs> no real restrictions in the backseat. Um, we were goofing around, and um, anyways, of course, we got in trouble all the time. Like, sit still, sit quiet, and blah, blah, blah. We come up to a gas station, and we were really thirsty. And because my brother and I were fighting a lot, my dad was angry with us. But we asked him for a drink, and he did. He bought us a soda pop from the vending machine. And we were really happy, and whatever. <laughs> I open up my pop, take a drink, and then my brother goes to open his pop, and it just it sprayed all over his face and all over the back seat, and you should have looked at his face. Okay, pure shock and horror on his kid's face, and he's like, "You did that on purpose." And my dad's like, "No, I promise, I didn't do that. Why would I do that to you?" And my brother's like, "You did that." On purpose. But anyways. My mom was getting mad at us too. Now, remember too, back in the 80s, parents were allowed to smack our faces if, you know, if they wanted to. So my mom was like, settle down back there, smack the both of you. <laughs> so here I, we are trying to be quiet in the backseat. I'm sipping away on my pop. And here's my brother, just pure shock. And so the pop is dripping from his forehead down on his lap and dripping out of his hair. And here I can tell that I started giggling, but quietly because I, I didn't want my face smacked. So here I am. <laughs> like just and the look on my brother's face. He was getting so angry. Happy. <laughs> you should have seen his face. Oh, I wish I could have. He was getting very angry back he's like he's like trying to tell me to shut up but of course he hears me <laughs> snickering away and finally i couldn't help but i started giggling away and my brother just yelled out you're laughing at me quit laughing at me it's like mom brenda's laughing at me and then my dad, my dad says, he's like all quiet and serious. And he says, well, it was kind of funny. And then he started laughing. And then my mom started laughing. And I started laughing even louder. My poor brother. <laughs> the look on his face. A pure disappointment in his family laughing at him all. <laughs> poor brother. Andy, that's his name. <laughs> oh, that's another funny. Anyways, that was hilarious. <laughs> you should have been there. <laughs> okay, what's the next? Number seven. How long is this video? Sorry about that. What is the most... Wait, I can't read my own writing here. Oh, exotic. What is the most exotic food you have ever eaten? And did you like it? I don't even know. First of all, I don't like seafood. I did try, like, what's that, calamari? Look. No, I didn't. But that's not exotic. Um, my dad tried frog wings before. I tried bear before. But it's not really exotic. I tried rabbit before. Um... Uh, like rabbit stew. Um, that's another funny story. <laughs> Speaking of rabbits, we went to visit my my parents' friends, 
and in their yard they had all these cages of bunnies and they're so cute and i'm like oh look at the cute bunnies and you have them for pets and the, the mom is like no we eat them and the look on my face <laughs> probably it was very hilarious but yeah anyways um i don't know if i ate anything exotic i don't like sea seafood so i don't even try it calamari is probably the most um rare type of seafood i don't know <laughs> i don't know i will, will not try oysters with exotic i have not tried caviar um i have so i don't know but I did not like calamari. I guess that's the most um, that I have. And the last question without me rambling. Oh my goodness, I did ramble. Number eight. If you could have dinner with a past historical figure, who would your guest be? And what would your, what would your, wait, what? <laughs> I Here is exactly what I wrote. If you could have dinner with a past historical figure, and what would your guest be? What? What would your guest what? I'm pretty sure if I remember from the video, it was from Rebecca's video. The question was, who would your past figure be, and what would you talk about? Um, I would really love to have a chat with Mother Teresa. Because um, my grandmother, my grandma, Gordon Ayer, um, I looked up to her. She was the only female bloodline in my family. And she passed away when I was, sorry, see, she, <laughs> she passed away 23 years ago. And I still, wait, talking about her um, still affects me, obviously. But my grandmother was a lot like Mother Teresa, and she was a woman of the church. She was, um, I forget what kind of sister she was, but I, we're part of the United Church. And she worked with the church and within the church. And she did a lot of things that was inspired by Mother Teresa. Now, I know about my grandma's, how she was when she was younger and how she was in her young adult and how she turned into be a beautiful saint when she was older. But I want to know how Mother Teresa was when she was a child. Was she curious about life as much as my grandmother and I are? Did she ever get into trouble? Did she ever experiment with things? I would love to know about Mother Teresa's life and what made her become, like what made her want to help and care and love for others. What inspired her? That's what I would love to know. But anyways, before I ramble on even more and to give my voice um, a break. Thank you guys so much for enduring this video. I know it's probably been hard with my voice here. Um, I have Monday off, so I have a three-day long weekend. Yay! I hope to make more videos with you guys. You know, many, many years ago, um, I used to do changing videos and not talking. Uh, the reason why was because I have family around me and they're talking and they're being loud so what i did but i really really wanted to make a video so i would just make a video and then just add music after i have two different kinds of playlists i have one like that a visual only and then i have um a playlist for the hearing impaired where all i do is ramble <laughs> and talk and describe <laughs> <laughs> which I can be kind of good at because I can seem to shut up. What was I like as a kid? <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, have a great weekend. Thank you so much for joining me. And Wyatt is still sleeping with me. He didn't even wake up during all this time, isn't that 
will help. <laughs> Anyways, guys, take care. Love you so much. Match the hand. Match it, match it. I love you guys. And until next time, very, very soon. Hopefully tomorrow. Who knows when. I'm not sure when. Uh, Francis is off tomorrow, so we have things to do. I have to visit my dad. Um, so, yeah. I'll leave that that. Rebecca, thank you so much for this fun take. And until next time, guys. Match hand, high five. Love you guys. Take care. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.